The place is a mess. What's up everybody, Jossie here. Just gonna do a little vlog. I don't even know what I'm gonna title this. But um, if you wanna see more content like this, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Vlog 2021, I don't know, that's pretty corny. But the place is a mess, uh, I need to clean it up, so I'm about to just shoot a really quick time lapse of cleaning up the kitchen. Everything else looks pretty good though. I actually think this would be the perfect kind of video to talk about some of the new tech, like under the radar tech that I've been using that I wouldn't typically make a dedicated video for. And the first thing is this Xbox Elite controller. This thing feels incredible, I'm not gonna lie. So shout out to Microsoft for actually sending this over to me. I haven't played with it a ton, but there's a significant difference using this controller and like their standard controller. For one, the gripping is incredible. You have gripping for your thumbs, for like the sides of your palms, and of course your fingers that are gripping the back of the controller. Also there's like this matte black paneling. This view is just so nice. I promise it never gets old. I just feel so blessed to be able to have an apartment like this where I have a beautiful tree line, a view of the city that we live in. And it's really inspiring, especially when I'm like programming or working on something creative. Also, it's time to throw this plant out. Unfortunately, it has passed away and uh, it's time for me to throw it out. So I've been asked to do a sneaker collection video or like a closet tour, wardrobe video. I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite sneakers and just like clothing brands and like type of clothing I've been rocking the past few months, you could say, basically the summer. But for a dedicated like sneaker collection, wardrobe video, I'm willing to do it. If we can get this video to 2,000 likes, let's let's say 2,000 likes. I got about 90,000 subs. I think that's doable. If you can get this video to 2,000 likes, I will do a dedicated sneaker video and sneaker slash wardrobe video. Honestly, my closet is a mess because my wife and I shared and we don't have a ton of space, but I, I can make it work. I can come up with some creative. So the weather's been pretty trash today. We were actually supposed to have a picnic um, during my lunch break and we didn't get a chance to do that because the weather was like 60s and the picnic was gonna be at this park by the lake, literally right on the water actually. So it'd been really windy and even probably chillier over there. So I just had to eat a sandwich during literally a stand-up meeting. But the weather's starting to get a lot better now um, throughout the day. But the funny thing is, is that in my videos, my desk setups always look so like minimal and clean. And it's funny because 95% of the time, my desk is a mess. One thing that I really like to do during those days where I have to be very productive, maybe I have a lot of work to do and have like a sprint review coming up. I wanna be able to showcase the work that I've been working on during the sprint. One thing that I really like to do is to play one of my favorite lo-fi channels on my TV. Honestly, it kind of just sets the mood. I'll play it on my speakers at my desktop, but for some reason, playing it on the TV sets the mood in, in a way that I feel like fills the space more than just playing it in like this corner. <laughs> point I've done this so much the YouTube algorithm knows exactly what I want to watch so I usually just turn on my PlayStation 5 I usually like to use my PlayStation 5 and controller opposed to just using my smart TV just because it's easier to navigate 
and I'll open up YouTube. And of course, in my recommended section will be Lo-Fi Girl, which is my favorite Lo-Fi channel to listen to. All right, I had lunch. I want to actually finish up this story that should be really quick to finish. Get a pull request out there. And then I'm gonna go to this really nice coffee spot that's literally right across the street from where I live. Today, I'm rocking a Chicago Bulls 1993 vintage t-shirt. Man, I love this shirt. At first, I wasn't the biggest fan of it because I wanted it to be a little bit larger, a little bit more boxy fit. But in terms of the graphics, by far the best vintage t-shirt I own and one of the best ones I've actually seen um, and even had the ability to buy in store. I actually got this from AZ Thread in Phoenix or Scottsdale, Arizona, so shout out to them. Just got on some some Nike shorts, black Nike shorts, nothing too crazy. Um, and I've been rocking the Union 4s a lot. These are my kind of go-to sneaker, despite the fact that they are significantly more expensive than every other sneaker I own. I think the sneaker that comes closest to it in uh, actual value is probably the Mocha ones, or maybe even those Kobe undefeated uh, force the Giannis PE, the Milwaukee Bucks Giannis PE, whichever one you want to call it. But this sneaker has been incredible. I not only listen to lo-fi music, I not only listen to lo-fi music on the TV, like I mentioned earlier, sometimes I'll play lo-fi. Actually, most of the time I play lo-fi music through my laptop using my audio engine A2 plus speakers that they're incredible. Like the sound is just, it's immaculate. But the lo-fi channels that I listen to on Spotify are of course lo-fi girl, but I actually listen to lush lo-fi more than any other lo-fi channel. It's the one that has like the koi fish and cover art for the playlist. I also listen to like lo-fi jazz every once in a while. And when I'm really feeling good and trying to set the mood, I'll actually search an artist I really like, and then I'll just type in lo-fi after to see if there are any playlists where they kind of slow down their music and turn it into lo-fi. So I've done that for Playboy Cardi. He has a really good lo-fi mix on YouTube. Um, I've also listened to Heart on Ice for like two hours. Is that the song? It's something like that. But it's it's a lo-fi version of like a hip hop and R&B song. And I'll also do like lo-fi old school hip hop as well. Lo-fi music is definitely a life hack. I swear it's just dopamine. It's just consistent dopamine i don't know how it works i actually have a hoop session at 6 p.m that i'm going to but i'm gonna first get a quick little calisthenics workout and i think lee drove last so i'm so close to the steering wheel before i do that i'm gonna do a calisthenics workout so today's in just a solely cardio day this park is actually beautiful i come here and bike a lot it's gorgeous and you can literally bike for like like 20 some miles because there's another metro park that's connected. So you just go on and on forever. 